Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Investing Iguana, the show where we talk about all things related to personal finance, investing, and retirement planning. I'm your host, Iggy, and today we're going to explore a very interesting topic. Why did Peter monetize his HDB flat? Five real reasons. If you're a Singaporean, you probably know that owning an HDB flat is one of the biggest financial decisions you'll ever make in your life. It's not only a place to live, but also a potential source of income for your retirement. But how do you make the most of your HDB flat? How do you ensure that it doesn't lose value over time? And how do you turn it into a cash cow that can support your golden years? That's what we're going to find out in this video, where we'll look at some of the reasons why some seniors have chosen to monetize their HDB flats using various schemes offered by the government. We'll also look at some of the pros and cons of each scheme and how they can affect your retirement income and lifestyle. But before we dive into the details, let me ask you a question. Do you know what CPF life is? If you don't, you might want to check out my previous video where I explain everything you need to know about this national longevity insurance annuity scheme that provides you with monthly payouts no matter how long you live. All right, let's get started with the first reason why he monetized his HDB flat. He wanted to boost his CPF life payouts. According to a recent report by the CPF board, more than 2,800 seniors tapped the lease buyback scheme and silver housing bonus scheme in 2022 alone, raking in around $429 million in total. Of this, about $227 million went towards topping up their CPF retirement accounts, which in turn increased their CPF life payouts by an average of $500 per month. Now, what are these schemes and how do they work? Well, the lease buyback scheme allows seniors who own a four-room or smaller flat to sell part of their remaining lease back to HDB and receive a cash bonus of up to $30,000. They can choose to retain the length of lease based on the age of the youngest owner, as long as it covers them until at least 95 years old. The proceeds from selling part of their lease will be used to top up their CPF retirement accounts and join CPF life. The Silver Housing Bonus Scheme is another option for seniors who want to downsize their flat to a three-room or smaller one. They can receive a cash bonus of up to $30,000 if they use at least $60,000 of their net sales proceeds to top up their CPF retirement accounts and join CPF life. Both schemes are designed to help seniors who are asset rich but cash poor to unlock the value of their flats and receive a steady stream of income for life. They also address the issue of decaying leases for older flats, which may lose value over time as they approach the end of their 99-year lease. However, there are also some drawbacks to consider before opting for these schemes. For one thing, you will lose some flexibility and control over your property. You will not be able to sell or rent out your flat after taking up the lease buyback scheme, and you will have to pay a resale levy if you want to buy another subsidized flat after taking up the silver housing bonus scheme. You will also have less cash on hand after topping up your CPF retirement accounts, which may affect your liquidity and emergency funds. So, before you decide to monetize your HDB flat using these schemes, you should weigh the pros and cons carefully and consider your retirement goals and needs. You should also consult a financial planner or use the CPF Life Estimator tool to see how much payouts you can expect from different plans and scenarios. Now, let's move on to the second reason. He wanted to move to a smaller and more manageable flat. As we age, our needs and preferences may change. We may no longer need a large and spacious flat that can accommodate our children and grandchildren. We may also find it harder to maintain and clean our flat, especially if we have mobility or health issues. In that case, it may make sense to downsize our flat to a smaller and more suitable one that can meet our current and future needs. That's what Peter did when he decided to sell his five-room flat in Giron West and buy a two-room flexi flat in Tampanese under the Silver Housing Bonus Scheme. He told me that he wanted to move closer to his daughter and son-in-law, who live in the same town. He also said that he preferred a smaller flat that was easier to manage and had lower utility bills. He was happy with his new flat, which had a shorter lease of 15 years and was fully furnished and renovated. By selling his old flat and buying a new one, Peter was able to pocket about $100,000 in cash after paying off his outstanding loan and other fees. He also received a cash bonus of $30,000 from the Silver Housing Bonus Scheme after topping up his CPF retirement account with $60,000 of his net sales proceeds. 
This increased his CPF life payouts by about $400 per month, which he said was enough to cover his basic expenses. However, downsizing your flat is not without its challenges. You may have to adjust to a smaller living space and a different neighborhood. You may also have to deal with the emotional attachment and sentimental value of your old flat, which may have been your home for many years. You may also face some restrictions on selling or renting out your new flat, depending on the type and lease of the flat you buy. Reason 3. He wanted to diversify his portfolio and invest in other assets. Peter realized that having most of his wealth tied up in his HDB flat was not a good idea, as it exposed him to the risk of market fluctuations and lease decay. He decided to sell his flat and use some of the proceeds to invest in other assets, such as stocks, bonds, REITs, or even cryptocurrencies. He believed that by diversifying his portfolio, he could achieve higher returns and lower volatility in the long run. He also wanted to have more passive income streams that could supplement his CPF life payouts and cover his lifestyle expenses. Reason 4. He wanted to relocate to a different country or region. Peter had always dreamed of living abroad and experiencing different cultures and lifestyles. He had saved up enough money to travel around the world, but he felt that staying in a hotel or an Airbnb was not the same as living like a local. He decided to sell his flat and use some of the proceeds to buy a property in another country or region that he liked. He chose a place that had a lower cost of living, a better climate, and more opportunities for socializing and learning. He also made sure that he had access to quality healthcare and banking services in his new location. Reason 5. He wanted to support his children or grandchildren financially. Peter had two children and four grandchildren who were very dear to him. He wanted to help them achieve their goals and dreams, whether it was pursuing higher education, starting a business, buying a home, or getting married. He decided to sell his flat and use some of the proceeds to give them as gifts or loans. He felt that this was a way of expressing his love and gratitude for them, as well as passing on his legacy and values. He also hoped that by giving them a financial boost, he could inspire them to work hard and be responsible with their money. These are some of the possible reasons why he monetized his HDB flat. Of course, there may be other reasons that are unique to each individual's situation and preferences. The important thing is to have a clear vision of what you want to achieve with your money and how you want to live your retirement years. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, you might be wondering how to apply for the LBS. Well, don't worry, because I'm going to show you how to do it in a few simple steps. Here we go. The first step is to check if you're eligible for the LBS. There are some criteria that you have to meet, such as being 65 or older, being a Singapore citizen, having a gross monthly household income of $14,000 or less, owning an HDB flat that is not a short lease flat, HUDC, or executive condominium unit, not owning another property, living in your flat for at least 5 years, and having at least 20 years of lease to sell to HDB. You can check your eligibility online using the HDB e-service or call the HDB branch service line at 1-800-225-5432 for assistance. The second step is to make an e-appointment with HDB to attend a financial counseling session. This is where an HDB officer will explain to you and your family members the details and implications of the LBS. You will also get an estimate of how much money you can expect from the LBS based on your flat type, lease length, and CPF balances. You will also get a copy of the LBS application form and a checklist of documents that you need to prepare. The third step is to apply for the LBS by submitting your application form and supporting documents to HDB within six months. You will also have to pay a non-refundable administrative fee of $100. HDB will then assess your application and inform you of the outcome within 10 working days. If your application is approved, HDB will arrange for evaluation of your flat and issue you an offer letter stating the terms and conditions of the LBS. The fourth step is to receive the proceeds from selling part of your lease. Once you accept the offer letter, you will need to sign a new lease agreement with HDB and complete some legal formalities. You will also need to open a CPF retirement account if you do not have one already. After that, you will receive the money from selling part of your lease within one month. The money will be used to top up your CPF retirement account up to the prevailing full retirement sum or basic retirement sum, depending on your choice, and any excess amount will be paid out to you in cash. 
The fifth step is to get the LBS bonus. In addition to the money from selling part of your lease, you will also receive a cash bonus from the LBS. The amount of bonus depends on your flat type, three room or smaller flat, up to $30,000. Four room flat, up to $15,000. Five room or bigger flat, up to $7,500. The bonus will be paid out in two installments, 50% when you sign up for the LBS and another 50% after one year. The bonus is meant to encourage you to join CPF Life and receive higher monthly payouts for life. The sixth and final step is to keep the remaining proceeds in cash. After topping up your CPF retirement account and receiving the LBS bonus, you can keep the rest of the money in cash. You can use this money for any purpose that you wish, such as paying off debts, buying insurance, investing, or spending on your hobbies and interests. However, you should also be prudent and plan ahead for your future needs and contingencies. And that's how you get started with the lease buyback scheme. I hope this video has given you a clear overview of what the LBS is and how it works. If you are interested in applying for it or finding out more about it, you can visit the HDB website or contact the HDB branch service line at 1-800-225-5432 for more information. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give us a like to show your appreciation. It helps us know what kind of content you find useful and valuable. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Here at The Investing Iguana, we're passionate about helping you achieve your financial goals with ease and peace of mind. And we have a lot more to share with you. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we'll explore other important financial topics like how to use CPF and SRS to boost your retirement savings, how to invest wisely and safely in the stock market, and how to make your money grow faster and smarter. We're so grateful to have you as part of our Investing Iguana family. Your support enables us to keep creating free content like this. Remember, every like, share, and subscribe makes a difference. Thanks for watching today. Keep investing, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.